Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to combine data from multiple workbooks into one single worksheet in Excel. Now in one of the previous videos that I created, I showed you how to combine it when you have data in an Excel table and all the table names are same. But what if you do not have the data in an Excel table or what if you have it in an Excel table but the names are not the same. We will see in this video how to combine data in such cases. So here I have this folder where I have these four files, these four workbooks, East, North, South and West and each of these workbooks has this data and they have this worksheet with the name data. Now, in this case, it's not in an Excel table, but the condition here is that the worksheet name in all the workbooks is the same. So it's the same in case of East. And now if I open North, then it's the same in case of North. So the sheet name, which is data in all these files is the same. Now, this could be the case if you get this data from, let's say, a database or a colleague who's updating these sheets and the name of the sheet is the same every time in each of these files then you can quickly combine it using Power Query. And let me show you how to do this. Let me first close these files. Okay, let me also close this folder. And here I have this workbook where I want the data, where I want the combined data. So I would come here and I would go to the data tab and here I have get and transform. Now, if you're using Excel 2016 or versions after that, then this would remain, the, it'll, it'll be like an inbuilt feature. But if you're using Excel 2013 or prior versions, I think 2010 and 13, you can install the Power Query add-in and you will get these features, these functionalities. Now in this case, because I'm using Excel 2016, I already have it within the data tab in Get and Transform. Now to combine the data from multiple workbooks, I would go to New Query from File from Folder. And here I would have to specify the folder name. So in this dialog box that opens, I click on browse and I would have to come here and select the folder, which is region wise data, same sheet name in this case. And I would click OK. And this would open this dialog box, which gives me the, the values or the names of all the files in the folder and this additional metadata, which is the extension and when the date it was created, modified, accessed, uh, attributes and the folder path. Now, if I come here and I cancel it, it'll close this. If I click on edit, this data would open in query editor. If I click on load, this data would get loaded in the Excel workbook. But I want to do is I want to get into each of these files and combine the data and then load it. So I would click on combine and then I would click on combine and load. Now see what happens. It'll open a dialog box and it'll ask me which file do you want to, which worksheet do you want to combine? Now, by default, it'll take this for from the first file, which was east.xlsx in the folder. You can select any of these files if you want. But since in our case, we have the worksheet with the same name, it really doesn't make a difference. Now, in this case, what it's showing me is all the objects in the workbook. In this case, there is only one object, which is only one worksheet with the name data. Had there been multiple worksheets, I would have seen multiple of these. Had there been an Excel table as well, I would have seen Excel tables here as well. But in this case, I only have one worksheet with the name data. Now what I want is, I want Power Query to go into each of these files and combine all the worksheets with the name data. So it would go to East, then it would go to North and South and West and combine the data from the worksheets which has the name data in it. So now, and it, the name needs to be exactly the same. Uh, if there is a space or if the, the casing doesn't match, let's say it's in uppercase and something is in lowercase, then it would not match. Power Query is very case sensitive. So you need to make sure that the name is exactly the same. Now, if I come here and I click OK, see what happens. Power Query did something in the back end and it will load 1812 rows instantly here in the workbook. It only took a couple of seconds and see all, all the steps that Power Query took in the back end to combine this data. So this is how you can quickly combine data when you have the sheet names which are the same. Just be sure that everything has to match. For example, in this case, if uh, the date, if the sheet name doesn't match, then it'll give you an error here. Similarly, if these columns here are uh, a mismatch, then you might not get the correct data. So let's see what happens. If I, let me delete this. 
let me go back to the folder here and let me change the data a little bit i would change this from q2 to q space 2 which is not the same as q2 so power query would consider this as different let me save this and close this let me also close this and i would open it again now let's see what happens i go to data new query from folder i would have to specify the folder location so i would go to region same sheet name click ok go to combine and load here i would select data which is the worksheet click ok and let's see what happens because now there is a mismatch in the column name it still loads the data but now i can expect that there would be some missing data because the column name is not the same so if i come down here I scroll down to West data you can see that it is missing a column because power query started with these five columns and started looking for these five columns in those workbooks but when it looked for q2 in west.xlsx it did not find it because that column name was q space 2 and therefore it left it blank it will not give you an error here but it will leave it blank telling you that it cannot find the data in that workbook so if you are doing this just make sure that the column names are same if you want to combine uh, these columns if you don't want to then it will fetch the data based on whichever column it can find so this is how you can combine multiple workbooks where the sheet name is the same. Now, what if there are other scenarios where uh, the sheet name is not the same, but the Excel table name is the same, then you can watch one of my previous videos. And what if even the sheet name is not the same? So you have an Excel table, you have a it in a sheet, but there are different names. So nothing is consistent. In that case, again, you can use Power Query and I will show you how to do that in the next video so if you're watching this on youtube you will find the link for it in the description if you're watching this on my website then you can just scroll down and watch that video that's it in this video i hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day